Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I have a sleep paralysis demon. I know, I know, you can't believe it. I couldn't believe it either. So yeah, sleep paralysis demons have a pretty bad stereotype on them, but if I'm being honest, Mine has saved my life. If you're a junior like me in the American high school system, you know how awful the homework load can be. The amount of homework I have keeps me up until 3 a.m. every single night. Honestly, staying up until 3 wouldn't be a big deal if I didn't have to wake up at 5.45 every day. For anyone, infant, teenager, adult, whoever, two hours of sleep is not enough. I used to get long nights of rest. I was happy. I felt energized the next day. But with my sleep paralysis demon, I can finish my homework and Instead. Sure, I'm afraid of the wrath of my teachers, but not enough to stay up at night. So thank God for my sleep paralysis demon. I cannot believe I'm saying this on camera, but my sleep paralysis demon is homework from my past years. As you guys may or may not know from some of my old videos, I keep all of my old homework in a Holly Ister bag. See what I did there? My Instagram at is also hollyester if you'd like to go follow, link in description. I've made countless videos about suffering from schoolwork, such as these two, but I decided to make another one. So let's go decorate my bathroom with this bag of homework. Woo! Honestly, it feels like I'm about to construct a DIY project, so DIY not. The moment you turned your bathroom into a studio. I mean, I guess we just start. I was thinking about putting all this stuff on my mirror, that way when I come in to reflect at night, I can reflect on why I have to stay up. Quite frankly, I didn't think about what I was going to do in this process other than just hang stuff up. So, welcome to the journey. We've got our first piece of sleep paralysis demon on the wall. It's not even straight, so I've got to rehang it. Maybe a sleep paralysis demon, but it's an OCD one. It kind of feels like I went trick-or-treating and I'm like showing off all my stuff. If you want to have an awful Halloween, come trick-or-treating at my house. Algebra, definitely hanging it up. It'll definitely keep me up. Chemistry, definitely gonna keep me up at night. Let's go ahead and get these hung up before we jump ahead of ourselves. While I hang these up, I'm gonna be suggesting one of my favorite songs. Okay, so I'm not completely done with the top rope yet, but it kind of looks good. Good as in terrifying, something I don't want to look at at night. Just saying. Alright, this is the last one for the top row. And we're done! I guess I can show you guys a little close-up. Hi, welcome to Chili's. I felt like that was a very appropriate way to introduce them. Also, before we move on, I would just like to acknowledge this, if you haven't noticed it already. I'm genuinely considering making merch that says Yee Holly. So, should I? Okay, so I don't know if I should, like, frame the mirror, or if I should just leave it how it is. I'm gonna frame it. For a long time, my content has been strictly planned, and I've known what I was gonna say, but stuff like this is not the same. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like filming it, it's just very different. Oh, there goes the tape. I guess it's just rolling with it. I guess you guys probably want to get to know me a little more if you have no idea who I am. My name is Holly Hodges. I've been on YouTube since like 2015, 2014. I don't really know anymore. I undoubtedly love puns. A lot of you guys who are not new here knew that. This is like kind of good. Like, I want to make TikToks in this mirror. Yeah, I know. TikTok is cringy, but it's also really fun to like make videos on. So go follow my TikTok. Hi, welcome to my bathroom in which I hung all of my past homework assignments on because my mental state is gone. Ooh, look at this. Something from eighth grade and I missed three. Ridiculous. Maybe I should have made one of those aesthetic TikToks where people are like painting their mirror with clouds but instead I cover my mirror in my homework. You know, if for some reason I conquer my fear of seeing this hung up in the middle of the night, this will at least be a reminder of why I'm staying awake. Honestly guys, it's just about finding the good in every situation. At this rate, I think I've been framed. My jokes are so good. Anyway, back to it. Whatever this is, let's see. I missed four on this one! It even says use a calculator. How dumb do I have to be? Looks like I was pretty dumb because I already pre-ripped it. You know, at least I can be positive that I need to do better. <laughs> 
get it because I made a beat. Honestly, with this tape, I keep getting in a sticky situation. I know, you guys want me to cut it out, and eventually I will. You know, I never thought to myself that I would feel accomplished by putting all of my homework in front of my face. But that's exactly what I feel right now, and it's a little scary. Good thing it's scary, though, because it'll keep me up to do my homework. You know, instead of doing this, I could just drink coffee like a normal person. But we're not normal here. When I said that, I felt like one of those girls that goes, I'm not like most girls. I listen to alternative music, and I wear black clothes. <laughs> anyway, here's the final reveal. As you can see, I have things from 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, 9th grade, and even 10th grade. For some reason, I feel like I'm in a very aesthetic shot, and I don't know why. I should recreate that vine. Anyway guys, I don't really know what else to say or do. For some reason I feel very happy filming this video. It was really fun to film, even though it was kind of bad. If you liked it, make sure to like it, subscribe, send it to a friend or two, it really helps. On that note, I don't really know what else to say because my sanity is going away. And that has been Poetry with Holly Hodges, and that's how I know I should go. So adios, see you next week. Oh, I missed.